much of the data at ASH this year about the current landscape is looking at three drugs versus four drugs for newly diagnosed patients. And so there's a nice update on the data looking at the Griffin study, looking at daratumumab in our first and our upfront patients. But there's also some great data from the Jernum group looking at isotuximab in upfront patients and really showing that those patients who achieve MRD negativity in their um, induction phase have a better um, progression-free survival. So we're still very much looking at aiming to get MRD negativity, following that with transplant in the majority of cases, and then following that with maintenance. We're then thinking about the relapse setting, and that's where life's getting much more complicated because there's some very nice data now looking at bispecific antibodies, looking at CAR T cells, and really showing that they're so very effective in the relapsed and refractory setting, suggesting that we should be moving that treatment further forward. So at the moment, um, we know that we're having a tendency to use three drugs for patients who have relapsed. Um, and this is often a PI, an IMID, and a um, monoclonal antibody. Um, or potentially moving classes a little bit to something like um, the EXPO inhibitors. And the new data on the bispecifics and the CARs is looking so good in that in those um, later refractory group of patients that potentially moving it forward into that second um, treatment phase or that third treatment phase, I think is where people are thinking about moving. Obviously, some of the discussion is about management of side effects and availability of treatments. And I think that's what many people are working on. And certainly the clinical studies are exploring some of those options as we're moving forward.